Hey guys, David here from Geeks Not Dead. Um, so, got myself a Magic Origins fat pack. Um, get it open and have a look. Um, got a new player mat as well. Through a video, if you let me know if you prefer the uh, original playing black one or this one. Um, can't even open it to start with. Let's get a pen on it. I forgot my scissors. Um, yeah, we can always revert back to the black one or just swap and change between the two. No major deal, this one's slipping already, so it probably would be the black one that's better, but let's get rid of this thing. Bits of cardboard flying all over the place. So we've got the inside of the packaging, that picture you always get. Can't really see it, but pretty much the general gist of it. I've got the entire set list, I believe it is, isn't it? Yeah, full set list there as well. Got that on the floor out of the way as well. That's not what we're here for. More cardboard deck box. I can't even unfold either. Long day at work, being such a spaz tonight already. Another deck box. Yeah, don't really use them. Um, everything in it. Let's shift all that out of the way then. So we've got nine packs, we've got his usual lands as well. Not bother opening them. We all know what lands are. We'll probably see enough through these nine packs to see what most of them look like. We've got our spin down counter. Where's a 20 emblem? Ah, there we go, there we go. So we've got that. Um, nine packs, let's see what we get. Mate got. Planeswalker in his nine, so want something better than that. Um, so we'll just go through the uncommons and the rares. Found everything in the way. Uh, there we go. Um, Chief of the Foundry. Fiery Conclusion, Thopter Engineer, and Guilt Leaf Winnower. Menace, this creature can't be blocked except by two or more creatures, and when Guilt, Guilt or Jilt, Guilt Leaf Winnower enters the battlefield, you may destroy target non-elf creature whose power and toughness aren't equal. It's not terrible. 4-3 for 5. First rare, planes. And just an advert card. So I'm wanting a few elves, I'm considering doing an elf deck. I've got a few deck ideas, there's a few things in this set that I want to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got Clash of Wills, Consul's Lieutenant, Blessed Spirits, and Managorja Hydra. Trample, and whenever a player casts a spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Mana Gorgia Hydra. One, one for free, but whenever a player casts a spell, so it's you and anyone else you're playing with, so that could get pretty crazy pretty quickly. And a knight token. Stick that to one side as well. Struggling with these packs today, let's have a look. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I can't count, can I? Nine, ten, I think I've missed one, yeah, ten. <laughs> one of them days. Um, Girapur Ether Grid, yep. Call of the Full Moon, Bounding Crassus, and Alhamaret High Arbiter. Is a 557 with flying, and as Al Haramet, I Arbiter, enters the battlefield, each opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose the name of a non land, non -land card revealed this way. Your opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name. Nothing I'm going to use, but I don't really play blue. Um, and a Thopter. There we go. Seen a lot of cards seem to use. Thopters by the looks of them. Or maybe I'm just looking at all the cards that do use Thopters in the set. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Yeah, there we go. So, patron, patron of the Valiant, Angel's Tomb, Valoron Wardens, and Animus Awakening. Reveal the top X cards of your library, puts all land cards from among them onto the battlefield tapped, and the rest of on the bottom of your library in a random order. And spell mastery if there are two or more instant and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, untap those lands. Could be decent, but... Ooh, we have got a foil as well. Zendikar's Royal. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 2-2 green elemental creature token onto the battlefield. Costs five, so it's not going to be early that you're getting it out, but not terrible. And Jace Emblem. Yeah, not bad. Nothing that I particularly was after thus far. Any Planeswalker would be nice, to be honest. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten. Prism Ring, Meteorite, Skyraker Giant, and Abbot of Carol Keep. Prowess, uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one until the end of the turn, and when Abbot of Carol Keep enters the battlefield, exile the top card of your library until end of turn, you may play that card. Um, forest, I thought that was a creature, I think, while I was moving. And a goblin. Can't have any set without goblin tokens. Seems to be all over the place, but I've got tons anyway. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I should have a foil. Um, Whirl of Rogue. Totem Guide, Heart Beast, Reclusive Artificer, and Infinite Obliteration. Name a creature card, search target opponent's graveyard, hand and library for any number of cards with that name and exile them. Then that player shuffles his or her library. Three mana, not terrible. And Heavy Infantry, when Heavy Infantry enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent's controls. Three, four, four, five, but shiny. And another one of them weird looking forests and another goblin. See? I think you get loads of them things. I'm sure it's not just me. Throwing away the rubbish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sphinx's tutelage. A knighter of champions. Enthralling victor. And talent of the telepaths. Target opponent reveals the top seven cards of his or her library. You may cast an instant or sorcery card from among them without paying its mana cost. Then that player puts a rest into his or her graveyard. And with spell mastery, if there are two or more instant and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, you may cast up to two revealed instant and or sorcery cards instead of one. Again, don't really play blue, but an elemental token. Looks kind of weird. Kind of awesome, weird. What's that? Are the rules? We know how to play. Not very good at it, but we know how to play. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sky snare spider. Gather the pack. Revenant and. Displacement Wave. Return all non-land permanents with converted mana cost of X or less to their owner's hand. And an island. And another goblin. Three. Three out of nine packs of mean goblins. Like I say, I'm sure it's not just me that gets tons of them, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Probably a foil. Hopefully a foil. Warhorn. Uh, Somberworld Alpha, Jessian Feath, and 
Hangerback Walker. Hangerback Walker enters the battlefield with X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. When Hangerback Walker dies, put a 1 1 call or a stop to artifact to each token with flying onto the battlefield for each plus 1 plus 1 counter on Hangerback Walker. And for 1 mana, you can tap it for a 1 1 counter on it. One of the cards I did want, don't know why. Um, ooh, Kythian's Irregulars, Hollow Rare. 4 um, 3 for 4. Renown 1, and 2 mana, or 2 white mana, tap target creature. Not too bad, putting it on the wrong pile of planes, and an advert. So, nothing fantastic, nothing really that I was particularly after. Um, Hangerback Walker's the closest thing, and it's not something I'd really use, I just like the sound of it. Um, but yeah, not terrible. I've also got a deck builder's toolkit, so that video will be going up soon as well. See if there's anything decent in there. Um, hoping for a good few elf cards. Like I said, we'll do an elf deck, um, so I'll have a look at that later. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Cheers.